Hi there, it's Jay from Sparkle. So far in the last couple of tutorials, we've learned how to create scenes and save our scribe project. This time, we're adding sound. There are two parts to audio in VideoScribe, your soundtrack and your voiceover. You don't have to add both of these audio tracks, but they're great for enhancing your visuals and creating an engaging video. Let's start with the soundtrack. This icon in the toolbar opens up the built-in music library with a huge range of different tracks for you to choose from. Using the drop-down menu, you can arrange tracks by genre, name, track length, and tempo. You can even filter the tracks that sound best when repeated in a loop. Scroll through and preview the soundtrack to find the best one for your scribe. If you've already got the music you want, you can import an MP3 file from your computer or download one directly from the internet by entering the URL. Once you've picked your music, you can adjust the volume and set it to loop if your video is longer than the track. Then click the tick to add it to your scribe. Now the soundtrack icon has turned blue. It means that our scribe has music and we can preview it to see how the music fits. Now for the voiceover, to give our scribe more of a story. The preview window will play your scribe while you speak, as long as the play scribe on record button is ticked. This way you can time your voice to your visuals and make sure they support each other. Make sure your preferred microphone is selected and then we are ready to record. When you click record, you'll be counted down to the start. Here we go. Welcome to VideoScribe. Don't forget there's lots of support and tutorials on our help site. Whether you are using VideoScribe in the classroom, for your business or socially, we hope that you enjoy making amazing animated videos. Don't be nervous to use your own voice. You can re-record as many times as you like. Just delete and have another go. You can adjust the volume here to balance it with the soundtrack. Of course, you can always import an MP3 for your voiceover from your computer or from an internet URL. Our key tip for making your voiceover extra effective is to write a script and record it first, and then design your scribe to fit it. It might seem like a strange way to go about it, but it really works and you can talk at a natural pace to create a clear and flowing voiceover. You can then adjust the animate pause and transition times for your text and images to synchronize with your voice and enhance your story. I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial, editing your scribe. See you there. 